everyone, it's Summer with uh, Astaria, and I wanted to do a walkthrough of the Fairy, well, it's Fairy Guidance Oracle by uh, Miss Paulina Cassidy. Now, it comes in a great box, actually, like this box is pretty amazing. It's a great box, sturdy box, it opens up, cards on one side, book on this side. I went ahead and opened it up. I probably won't keep them in this box uh, just because I don't like ruining the boxes, but it is fairly sturdy. It's got some heft to it. Um, and then the cards, there are lots of really cool cards. So there's it's a 40 card deck. So it's an Oracle deck and it's 40 cards. And I know that some people might think that that might be a little small for Oracle. I know that there are people who who prefer like about 60 in Oracle cards. Honestly, it doesn't bother me either way uh, about the number of Oracle cards in general, but I think the 40 card decks or 40 card cards in this particular deck is about right. Like it feels right to me. Anyways, the card stock is, you know, shuffleable, pretty easy to manipulate. It's not too soft or anything. It's got a nice matte finish. Um, a little bit of a little bit of gloss like maybe a semi-gloss matte finish I'm not sure how you would put that but uh, they're really really easy to shuffle they go together really well um, and I like that one with my cards I don't like it when they stick they need to shuffle well in order for me to work with them uh, and then the book is 288 pages this thing is thick look at that and it's pretty cool like uh, you would think that maybe that she put uh, a different language in here. She didn't. It is mostly the cards. She has her, um, what is it called? It's an introduction, but then she has the index. The introduction is three pages, not even three pages. And then she has the using this deck, which is also three pages. Then she has card spreads. One, two, three... So these are card spreads, so those are, are, are a little much, but that is all that is pretty much, you know, like introduction and about this deck and all that other stuff. This is all cards. There's three to four pages per Oracle card, which I think is fabulous. And um, yeah, that's all, it's all cards. And then in the very, very back here, you got some other stuff. But otherwise, I mean, that's, that's a lot for cards, for Oracle cards, like most of the Oracle cards that I've gotten do not have that <laughs> level of detail. Now I'm a fan of Paulina's um, artwork. I have the Joie de Vivre deck and um, I want to get the, I think it's Witchlings is the other one I want to get. Um, this is way more lighthearted for me than the, uh, the Joie de Vivre deck. And I do have favorite cards, of course. I've only used this a couple of times, but I really like the feel of it. I like the uplifting atmosphere of it. I like the fae aspect of it because I'm fae, fairy. That's just what I do. So this card's my favorite card, and it's clarity. So I want to make sure you guys can see it. There we go. I don't want it to shine on you. And I guess one of the downsides to these cards really is the border. I do not like the border. This is the back of the cards. Let's see if I can get it going right. There we go. And it's very light. It's not, you know, too bold or anything like that. It's very delicate, which I like in my decks and art and everything else. All right. So clarity is my favorite. And then we'll just go through this real quick so that you can see the different cards. So I got to figure out how I'm doing it. There we go. I really, really like the colorings in this card, Meditation. Like these first few cards are my favorites. They're the ones that I like the most um, out of this deck, the first four, I believe. But look at the artwork in this. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it does have, like, if you are a kind of person who enjoys having those um, extra words to give you a boost instead of having to look through the book. I guess this is really good for that. I really like reading intuitively and I don't think I will actually cut edges on these cards even though I think they would look much better without an edge on them without the border. Um, but I don't think I'll be cutting them down uh, just because I do like having the words there. I just wish they maybe, I don't know, weren't so big. <laughs> I guess I don't know how to explain that. Like 
it's one of those things that's preference based. And when you're just learning how to read cards, this kind of style with the words that, you know, give you that extra boost and everything, it does. It works out for people who are just starting. And I've only been doing this for about a year. So, I mean, it does work for me. I'm going to run with it. Um, but the, the artwork is just, I don't know, it's so pretty. It's so phenomenal. And I feel like she really is in tune with the Fae. And I just can't get over her artwork. I'm a big fan of a lot of fairy artists. There's, my favorite's Nene Thomas. But, but Paulina has a very unique style. And they all have some kind of emotion within them. Like the cards, the colorings that she uses, the way that she designs the, the actual art in the picture. And I know that every artist is kind of like that. But it gives you the feel of the fae. She she has the feel of the fae, the uplifting, the inquisitive, the inspiring, the curiosity, the colorful, the it's the the joyful emotions of it that fae bring me. And I think that's why I like this deck so much. I plan on using it uh, more as time goes on, especially as one of my oracle decks. Um, I'm not sure which deck I'll probably use it with. I don't want to use it with the Joie de Vivre deck because that deck seems darker to me, as I've mentioned before in my uh, Joie de Vivre walkthrough. And, but I do think this might go well with maybe Shadowscapes. I could play with this and Shadowscapes as a whole, and I think that would work out. So basically the card stock's good. The box that it comes in is good, but I'm going to need to bag it. I'm going to need to have a bag for it to put them all in because I don't want to carry around that giant box. Uh, the book is amazing. It has a lot of information on the cards. It, you know, does give a little bit, uh, like a little paragraph of description of the cards. Um, and I can show you that in just a moment. But for the most part, I think this is really well put together. It's really well thought out. The coloring is fantastic, especially if you want to work with Fae energy or even if you just want that playful energy um, involved in something. This is some, This is a deck that I would use maybe for uh, my creative art uh, readings that I do here on my channel. So here they all are. Wonderful, beautiful Paulina Cassidy artwork that I just adore. I do. I totally adore it. I don't like the borders, but that can be gotten around. And I don't like the big box that it comes in. Again, can be gotten around. Okay, so in the book, let me just jump to one of the one of them. So here's what it looks like in the book. Okay, so she gives you the card in black and white, and then she actually describes the card. And then the little paragraph I was talking about was right here, and this is the actual like card description. So everything before this is talking about what the card is, what the card means, etc. And then this little paragraph. Well, I guess this one has a little more of a paragraph and some do, some don't, but generally they're like this big of a paragraph or maybe two paragraphs that just describes, you know, the fairy of determination points in the direction of accomplishment. So it's describing what the card is actually doing um, from the author's perspective. So I really do. I think this is fabulous. Like the, the book is amazing. The book is phenomenal, really. And it's so sturdy. It's so sturdy. I'll be able to carry it around with me and not worry about it ripping up or anything like that. Um, it is a Llewellyn um, title, so you can find information about this on Llewellyn. I think you can still get this deck. Actually, I got it from um, a shop here in, in town that is a secondhand shop for tarot cards and stuff like that, and the cards are phenomenal. I'm so glad that I was able to get it. So anyways, that's my take on the Fairy Guidance or Oracle by Miss Paulina Cassidy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. If you guys like Faye and you are a fan of Paulina, go ahead and get this deck. It's really, really pretty, and it has such a positive energy, and I really love that uplifting, positive side of cards so much. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.